Hello and welcome. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you what the function or F keys are used for. The function keys have a lot of uses in combination with other keys, but in this video, I'll mostly stick to the basics. Before we start, on some laptops, you need to combine the function key with the FN key as a smaller keyboard often has multiple uses for these keys. F1 is almost always used to open up a help menu. So for instance, when you are in Word, hitting F1 opens the help tab. In some applications, this might redirect you to a web page. The F2 key allows you to rename files or folders. To use F2, you simply need to select a file or folder and hit F2. F3 is going to open a search menu if possible. After the search, you can sometimes use F3 to jump to the next search value. This doesn't work in all applications though. Next up is the F4 key. F4 repeats your last action. For instance, if your last action was to copy something, you can keep repeating it with F4. Using F4 in combination with Alt closes your current application. You might see this from time to time in online games to trick people into closing the game. F5 is probably one of the better known function keys. You can use F5 to reload a page in almost all web browsers. When you combine F5 with Ctrl, you completely reload the web page from scratch as this clears your cache for that page. The F6 key is used to jump to the address bar in almost all web browsers. This is nice, but other than that it doesn't really serve any other purpose. F7 has two main functions. In Microsoft programs like Word or Outlook, it opens a spell check. In web browsers it has a different purpose. The F7 key activates or deactivates carrot browsing. F8 is mostly used during Windows startup. When you hit F8 during a boot, you oftentimes get the option to start in safe mode. The F9 key has little use. You can use it in Microsoft Word to refresh a document. Besides that, normal F9 isn't interesting. Next up is F10. When possible, F10 activates the menu bar or ribbon in an open application. Using Shift F10 is the same as right click with your mouse. F11 is used in web browsers or video players to enter full screen. You can also use F11 to leave full screen mode. With the F12 button, you open debug mode in web browsers like Chrome or Firefox. Using F12 in a Microsoft application like Word or Excel opens up the safe as we know. This covers the basic use of function keys in Windows 10 and how you can use these as a shortcut. As mentioned earlier, most of the F keys have additional purposes when you combine them with Ctrl or Shift, but we'll keep that for a future video. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you want to watch more Windows or software related tutorials. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.